What's up? This is Chase, uh, owner and founder of Chase Bays. What's up? I'm going to give you guys some history on how Chase Bays got started. Me and my friend Steve were about 17 at the time when we went to a local hot rod show. We noticed most of the engine bays were extremely clean and had all the wiring hidden as well as the brakes and fuel lines. Later, we checked out the forums and saw that a couple guys had done it. Trim metal for brake line access. These are the recommended locations for the Chase Bays kit. There was little to no information at all about how to do it. It didn't matter to us, though. We, we tackled it anyways. It turned into a week-long project. We finally completed the wiring side of it. Caught on pretty quickly with some of the Southeast folks. Did some work down there for a while. Before I knew it, I had about 10 people wanting to fly me out to Phoenix, Arizona to do their engine bay wiring. Not long after that, really did some research on wiring and electronics, how it worked, how it didn't work. I felt like this was mandatory if I wanted to move forward. Make sure you deburr the metal to protect the lines. Drill holes for brake lines. Somewhere along the timeline, I got into AN brake lines and fuel lines, pretty much anything engine bays. I'm just into making it look better without sacrificing functionality. My hobby quickly turned into my job, and then I decided to make it official with the name Chase Bays. In about mid 2007, I moved out to Los Angeles, California just to expand the brand. Hung out there for about two years. Moved around a little bit. Lived large on some days, lived on park benches on others. Decided to bring it back to Birmingham, Alabama in mid-2009, which is where we currently are now. Got some great employees. We're just trying to better the products, better the brand. We currently have about 40 products out right now, and, and I have no plans of stopping. I want to thank all of our customers for the support. Any current, future, previous customers, thank you guys. Any support we get goes into designing more products. Drill pilot hole. Be careful to not over tighten. Cut and flare OEM lines. Be sure you don't cut off too much to start. Position OEM lines. Drill pilot hole. Test fit. Flare OEM brake lines. Remember to put the flare nut on the pipe before you flare it or you'll have to cut it and start again.
Test fit. Be sure to be aware of the gas pedal. Trim your line to fit, and once again, be sure not to over trim it. Remove bracket if needed. Install proportioning valve. Flaring hard lines. Install custom brake lines. Prep for custom brake lines.
Make sure to use your crush washers. Flaring fuel lines. Cut and flare OEM lines. Be sure you don't cut off too much to start. Remember to put the flare nut on the pipe before you flare it or you'll have to cut it and start again. Thanks to Chase, my OEM harness was turned into a tuck harness. Watch the magic. Our website is chasebaysonline.com. That's it. Check it out. We update it very often.